And uh, but Dr. Pagre Bwache Kankwa, because you are you are not a lawyer, obviously following the the the, the conversation. We are at this point because essentially your party took a decision, is it not? Proud to the 2020 elections. And now you describe that decision that you found comfort in as unlawful. And so you do not recognize the precedence that has been set. And as a result, you would want to challenge the speaker's ruling based on the precedent that was set that favored you. Why are you doing this? Is it possible to make a small uh, this a a intervention? Brief yeah, one, per your permit, to, uh, with before. your permit. I'm not the host, you, yeah. you are in yeah. charge. Yes, yeah, so you uh, as a fuwa, you were doubting the existence of the circular. You say no, no, I, I, mean, I, mean, I actually have it. Yes. So I, I have it, and we're going to put out the, the 15th, circular. 15th, uh, 12th July 2024. Under the speaker. Okay. I'll show it. So, <laughs> the, the yeah, hand of the number. judicial secretary. You know, Alfred, it, it's a very interesting morning of law, interpreting the law, the 1992 constitution, the rights of parliament. You know, it, it reminds me of theologians arguing the Bible and imams arguing the Quran. Because, you see, it, whichever way you, you take it, right? one has to be able to make a case that is constructive enough to the spirit of the letter. At the start of all of this debate about the NDC wanting to become the new majority and moving the democratically elected majority of the new patriotic party into a purported minority was very absurd for me. Very, very absurd. Just to start with. And I'm clear in my mind that the suspension that the Supreme Court has placed on the reasoning of the ruling that the speaker gave would bring a lot more clarity because where you find misinterpretation, lack of clarity, you need to pause and allow a broader conversation. The few cases in reference that I would quote here, you know, Ampofwe J versus the Attorney General stated very clearly that the Supreme Court has concurrent jurisdiction in the enforcement of the fundamental human rights when it does not affect the person applying to the court personally. But when it affects you personally, then the high court is the forum. So the majority leader, the Honorable Afrenio Markin, is closed with that capacity to pursue the matter under the 1992 Constitution, Article 2, Clause 1 of 130. So clearly for me, you know, um, Alfred, when you look at all of this, it's a clear mandate of the majority in Parliament continually exercising their right and franchise. I don't think that the minority in parliament, which is the NDC, have earned that right from the bigger constituents of the Ghanaian people to be the majority. I don't see that. Because you see, Alfred, people have gone for elections. They have been voted into office to represent the interests of their constituents. Clearly, within the space, we find ourselves a few more days to a democratic election, which is to be held, for people to make a decision on who represents them again in parliament and who leads this country for mm -hmm. going. I think that there was no rush, really, on the side of the speaker to immediately pass a reasoning of ruling. But would you have said the same in the case of the Right Honorable Aaron Michael Quay, in the Formina constituency case, the same argument that you're making, that the people of Formina also deserved representation. And as a result of that decision, that human right was also violated. You would, know, that, would that find reason in your argument? You know, Alfred, let me, let me, let me quote a few more cases, you see, because... No, no I just asked a specific No, of course, I mean, absolutely, absolutely, you know... When, when they were making a comparison of the ruling of 
the respected right honorable um, Michael Quay together with um, in terms of precedence, okay, because it was an issue of precedence that because an issue of precedence had happened in 2020, it, it bears foundation for same precedence to be applied um, mm -hmm. in, in 2024. I, 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 I disagree and want to disassociate myself from any thinking that goes with a precedence that because right honorable speaker Michael Quay had made a precedence of that nature, it should be applied in the 2024 application. But the Republic versus the fast no, track. Why, why, why would you want to do that? When no, the, let me. Allow, the, because in, in law, you cannot, respectfully, respect, in, in law, you cannot do away with precedence and make an argument. Because you say you don't find convenience in the precedence, so you don't want to make reference to it. I but actually, this, this decision was not taken in a vacuum. Alfred. My statements are very clear that there was no need to give a precedence of Right Honorable Michael Quay's ruling vis-a-vis -vis Speaker Bagbane's ruling of 2024. Why is that? Because the situations are very different. How different? Very, very different. Tell I think, me. I think that the no. situations are very how, different. How different? There was no application that was made by the political party that represents these people that these people are no more members of parliament. Rightly so, these people are seeking to be independent members in the ninth parliament should they win their election. But what law actually d demands that a political party should write to the speaker before Article 97 1G can kick in? You know, Alfred, it's, it's purely based on who wants to write that. Our political yeah. party has not taken a position to write any letter to parliament mm -hmm. to state that these three persons that are seeking to stand independent are no more members of our political party because there's there's really no there's no reasoning whatsoever to even convince us that these persons that are standing for independence would be voted into office in the ninth parliament because they're seeking their independence in the future parliament not the parliament of today but, but, but that's beside the that's, point that's, but if that's, if that's, hold on oh. Oh, but prof i'll come to you but you oh. see if 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 97 1 and have you read the 97 1 g i have and i'll read, read it that. to you that a member of parliament shall vacate his seat in parliament if he leaves the party of which he was a member at the time of his election to parliament to join another party or seeks to remain in parliament as an independent member the law does not in any way say that your party must necessarily Alfred, write six to, to the speaker. Seeks to remain in parliament as an independent member. Have these persons stated that they seek to remain in parliament as independent members? The question is no. That's true. Uh, the, they have not stated that they seek to remain in parliament as independent members. You, uh, you know that. These no, persons but, but, have not decided that they will not do business with the new patriotic party or not do business with the government of the day. So, 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 they, so they have so not Professor, thought that so they, will, they, they want to. It's not in my right place to say that. No, but, no, but I mean, it, no, so, you, so, no. So you understand? Professor Michael Quay was wrong. That's not what I've said. Uh, uh, but that's what no, he you did. understand what I'm saying. I, then your reasoning, so, 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 aren't so, so, properly. No, then you're not understanding. Doctor Pagre, you you are making an argument based on the references you have made. Article 97. One G. That, Let me state it. So it says saying, if he leaves the party uh -huh. of which he was a member at the time of his election to parliament to join another party. Has that happened? No. Or seeks to remain in parliament as an independent member. Has that happened? No. So, so very clearly. And it says that if he was elected a member of parliament as an independent candidate or joins another political party. So for okay, me, you see. So which which law Alfred, which which law which law did Professor Michael Quay yeah. reference in ex declaring the formula seat vacant? Alfred. Which law did Professor Michael Quay reference in declaring the formula seat vacant? I do not recall that. It's Article 97, 1 G and H. Which is why we have had to go to the Supreme Court for an interpretation. Clearly. Because, you see, if you look at Parliament, Parliament is not the supremacy of the 1992 Constitution. Yes, but, 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 the so Supreme which, Court which, 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 brings which interpretation. Organ, organ of government is, The Supreme is Court brings interpretation of every single thing that is stated in the 1992 Constitution. And I have case in reference to that, if you, if you may. The Republic versus the Fast Track High Court 
ex party commission on human rights and administrative justice interested party honorable richard Anani in 2007 said that we need to remind ourselves that there is no parliamentary supremacy under our constitution rather it is the constitution that is supreme as the interpreter of that constitution this court this court's view of the meaning of the constitutional provision cannot be preempted by that of any other agency of state in short a provision in the constitution means what the supreme court says it means and not when parliament has declared what it means and i think that you know there are cases in references that are there for us to be able to review this i mean if you even want some earlier cases like 2022 two years ago you would have the justice of versus the attorney general that says that no arm of government or agency of state including parliament is a law unto itself because without the exception, everyone and everything in Ghana is subject to the constitution. As a result, an allegation that parliament has acted or it's acting in a manner that is inconsistent with, in contravention of, and or ultra virus to the 1992 constitution will render parliament the actions, orders, rules, and procedures in issue amendable in the jurisdiction of this court as such any provision in the orders rules procedures practices of parliament that contradict are inconsistent with or purports to confer on parliament powers not vested by the constitution will sin against articles one two of the 1992 so really neither parliament as an institution nor its members or officers orders practices conventions or procedures can be said to be independent of or exempt from the limitations imposed by the constitution so i think that these are very clear i didn't find any ambiguity whatsoever and i felt that the minority were on a wild goose chase to want to cross carpet to become the majority in just one day how does that happen in the democracy that we live in this is this is the democracy and i think that everyone who wants to make an issue on on this on this statement must really make it based in mind that this is a democracy and that democracy must not be flouted by anyone by the interpretation of the 1992 constitution and also guided by the rule of law isn't it absolutely but you see um dr pargrave so i think that one of the and you you are a friend of this platform at least so you know that we uphold some level of sincerity and principle in our comments and association there are members of your party, senior members for that matter, Katie Hammond and the uh, member of parliament for, um, uh, in fact, I, I spoke to uh, OPK, all of them who have, in the Empire of Constituency MP, who have all indicated in principle that what Speaker Michael Quaid did was unlawful and was wrong. And they find solace in making that argument now because... It goes against the party. And that's why I was asking you that specific question. If you argue that you actually find nothing wrong with what happened, are you saying that what Speaker Michael Quaid did in declaring the formula seat vacant is right or wrong? Alfred, I want to focus on the issues that are happening today. <laughs> Clearly, I want to focus on the issues that are happening today. And bring interpretations to the issues that are happening today. I see. 